Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. If you would like to check those out, the links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle on sale. Buy one, get one free. The link for that is below. Mystery crystal boxes are 20% off. Um, I am open for phone readings and text message readings. Um, the link for all of that is below. My cell phone number is below. And that's it. Guys, I've been trying to get everyone into an energy of um, practicing daily gratitude and positive affirmation. So if you feel called to do so, go ahead and drop something that you're grateful for and a positive affirmation with a green heart. Okay. Let's see what we have here for the collective today. Please, Spirit, tell me about my viewers. What do my viewers need to know? Okay. So we've got near future and we've got tired. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the collective. So we've got Gold Digger and we have Compromise. We've got Soulmate and we've got Secret Love. Okay, so collective, this is interesting, okay? What we have here, Collective, is you coming into an energy. I feel like this is going to be a little specific. I feel like I'm talking to someone that is very career-oriented, career-motivated. Someone here makes very good money, okay? And I feel that, Collective, you are getting tired of being used for what you have, all right. Uh, people tend to be drawn to you because of what you can provide. Now, collective, some of you may say, all right, Gina, yeah, I work hard, but I'm not a millionaire, right? Well, you know, I mean, if you have your own apartment and if you have a car outside and if you got food in the fridge, you know, for someone that doesn't have those things, you're rich, right? I do feel like it's a little bit more than that collective because we're dealing with a person here that has somebody in their life. And these two are actually in cahoots with doing this to people. Okay. So I feel like what this person does now, I, I just want to make it clear. This could be a romantic interest that has a third party. And what these two do is they go to people to get money out of them. Okay. Um, you know, this could be a woman or a man that like, you know, like sugar baby vibes, they, they get money out of people and then they go back to each other. Okay. Or collective, this could be, and I, I've had this happen to me, so it is a thing. This could be a couple. It could be a couple that is using you like you, this could be your best friend. This could be your sister. This could be your brother. Okay. Let me throw an example out there on how this could be someone that's not romantic, just so that you understand. Like my sister, for instance, was with my brother-in-law and what she would do, she would call me and she would say, that's it. I'm leaving him. I'm behind on my bills. I'm behind on everything. I can't live like this anymore. So, you know, I was making very good money at the time. I was selling health insurance and she had, you know, both my nephews were little. So I would step in, I would pay all her bills. I would get her where her head was above water so that, you know, she was making a, a decision to better her life and leave a toxic connection. And I kid you not, and I am not joking when I say this. This. The transactions hadn't even cleared in my checking account, and this man was already sitting back on the couch. Okay. So, this could be a couple that uses you for money if you are a friend or a family member or collective. This could be a love interest that is in a relationship with someone else that they deem to be a soulmate with. They are just head over heels with this third party and they use people for money. Okay. 
They use people for money. So this could be someone coming around wanting to talk to you, wanting to compromise with you, uh, you know, uh, let's overcome. You may have gotten sick of this person and tossed them to the side, but this person may be coming back around towards you, collective. It is important for you to note there is someone else in the picture when it comes down to this individual. And, and they know about it. This third party knows about it. They're in cahoots with one another about this person coming back around towards you and getting something out of you, getting money, okay? Tell me about the collective here, please. Tell me about the collective. The moon card in the reverse. We could be dealing with a Pisces collective and the four of pentacles. I feel like you caught on collective, you caught on that whoever this is, is using you for money. And now you're keeping your, you, you the ATM closed. ATM has shut down. The four of pentacles talks about saving, talks about being greedy, selfish. It, it talks about conserving your money. Okay. You are not giving a penny to anybody here. Okay. You are not giving a penny to anybody. And I feel like with the world card and the page of swords, we are dealing with someone here that's realizing that the bank has shut down. The bank is shut down, but they're going to give it one last go around. This could be a, you know, again, family friend. It could be a couple that's coming back around towards you. Someone that's in a relationship needing your help. It could be a love interest that's coming back around, wanting to compromise with you, uh, wanting to come back. Okay. I feel like there is, um, with the six of cups here and the 10 of cups, if this is romantic, this person is already in a high level of commitment and the person that they are in a commitment with, they've got a past life soul tie to. This is someone that has been in their life way longer than you. Okay. And these two are the, you know, this is what they do. They're in cahoots. They, they go towards people. Um, for instance, your person told this third party, okay, well, listen, I'm going to go towards the collective and I'm going to see if we, you know, we can get our rent paid or if I can get a certain amount of money out of them or whatever whatever the case may be, but this person knows about it. This third party knows that your person, they may have even compromised on, okay, if you're going back to the collective, you better not have sex with them though, or you better not do this or whatever. You know, there's rules to this game. Okay. There's rules to this game. If this is romantic, um, again, with that six of cups though, it could be friends. It could be family. Um, if you have a friend or a family member that claims to be in a toxic connection and you're always helping financially, I promise you, when you get off the phone with this person, this person has a happy dynamic with their person. They're talking to you, telling you it's toxic so that you shell out money. But when you get off the phone, these two are happily ever after, chilling, chilling, okay? Mm -hmm. these, these people are fine, okay? Spirit, tell me about the collective, please. Tell me about the collective. We've got the Knight of Cups and we have the Tower. Collective, you have love for this individual, okay? You were very kind, caring, nurturing when they called you and they said that you needed something. You would go and you would run. But with the Tower here, Aries Scorpio energy, this person, as soon as you did the favor or as soon as you did whatever it is that they needed, you would be shocked with how they treated you afterwards. So if this is romantic, you would do this person a favor and they would just disappear on you and go back to this person over here. Um, if this is a friend or a family member, take it back to the example that I gave to you with my sister. You go, you help, you do all these things and boom, they're back with their boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever. It's like you, you've learned your lesson here. Okay. You've come to realize, you know, you need help. I come, I help you because I love you. I care about you, but it's like, it blows your mind what this person does after you do something positive for them. Okay. They're going to give it one last shot here. This is someone that is going to try to come back around and heal things with you. But again, with this three of cups energy, there is three people in the picture here. 
Okay. If this is romantic, there is someone on the side. And if this is, you know, a, a, a friend or a family member, they are in a relationship and you are the friend, the family member that tries to help these two, but you always get burned in the end. With the magician here and the devil, we could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, or a Capricorn. Um, this is somebody very manipulative. Okay. They're going to come back and try again. With the devil here and the lover's card, I mean, this these two people know exactly what they're doing. We've got the devil, the lovers, and the seven of swords. They know exactly what they're doing. If this, uh, you know, once again, if it, if it's a friend of yours that's in a relationship, a family member of yours that's in a relationship, or even a love interest of yours that's in another relationship, they they plan this. They plan this. You may have a best friend that you think is your bestie and they come to you and they, oh, I need help or he's tormenting my life. She's tormenting my life. You do what you can to help. As soon as they get off the phone with you, they turn around. Oh, the collective is so stupid. Yeah. The collective is going to pay the light bill. Yeah. The collective is going to send me some money. Yeah. The collective is going to, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay. They, the, these people know what they're doing and collective. I feel like with the eight of cups, you have caught on here with the strength card, Leo energy. I feel like you're listening to your higher self. When this person comes back and wants your help collective, there may be a part of you because you care about this person that does want to go ahead and help them. But I feel like you're listening to your higher self here and you're walking away. You are walking away with the five of swords here and the emperor collective. I feel like you're really putting your foot down, um, controlling your emotions and protecting your abundance here. For many of you, you could be a business owner. For many of you, you could be doing well financially. For many of you, you have a high position in the job that you work at. And I feel like you're leaving this behind. I feel like you're leaving this behind because you're realizing that this is a joke. You, you help this person. You are kind to this person. You're loving to this person. You're gracious to this person. You are an amazing friend, an amazing family member, an amazing love in your love partner. And it just blows your mind. It shocks you. Okay. It shocks you what they do after you help them. I promise you that these two, they talk about you. They talk about you. They tell, you know, their person, yep, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the collective. I'm going to go ahead and tell the collective we're broke so that they help with the rent or something like that. But with the death card and the sun card here, Scorpio energy, what these two are talking about is it's game over. The collective has left the building and now they're fighting and now they are fighting. Okay. I feel like this person's going to come back around Sagittarius energy to try to get you back, you know, get back into your good graces. And they're realizing here it's over. You know, this third party may even be helping the person come towards you on what to say. Oh, well, tell the collective this, tell that like these two are talking, look at them, you know, tell the collective that you're sorry, tell the collective that you missed them. You know, this third party, the, the third, the third person here is actually coaching your person on what to say. Yeah, I, I feel like they are chasing here. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, but collective, I'm telling you, ATM closed. ATM is closed. You have caught on here. There is nothing that this person is going to say or do. And I feel like collective, it makes you sad because you're sitting in this beautiful queen of pentacles energy. You know, you're financially abundant. And I feel like you know, it hurts you to know that, you know, you don't matter to people. It hurts you to know that, you know, people are so quick to use you. It it hurts you to know that. Um, I feel that collective, you may be throwing yourself deeper into work to not think about this, but you will move on. You will move on collective. You will move away from this, but I does, I, I do feel that it affects you with this energy of, Will anybody ever just love me for me? 
you know, will anyone ever just love me for me? Or, or, you know, um, do people only see me for my money? You know, do people only see me for what I can provide? We've got the nine of wands collective for whoever I'm talking to. I feel like this has happened multiple times and I feel like you're exhausted now. I feel like many of you may have been used by friends, family members, love interests, and I feel like you are just exhausted. We've got the queen of wands here here and the hierophant oh collective you're going to tone yourself down and the hanged man oh <laughs> collective you are going to tone yourself down because you are sitting in like pre-empress energy okay queen of pentacles energy right and I feel like what you might do collective is you may start focusing on like, I don't know, like on your looks or just coming across as someone that has less than, okay? Coming, what you, what you want to do here is when you date, you want someone to fall in love with who you are. The fact that you are uh, fun, spontaneous, that you look good. You, you want someone to fall in love with you. So the Empress here is the embodiment of all four um, queens, right? So I feel like you are downgrading yourself. Okay. I, I feel like you're sitting in very strong Empress energy here. I don't think I saw the Empress come out, but I'm, that's, that's what I'm sensing. Okay. Um, I feel like you are toning yourself down and what you're doing is you're waiting to see here. Okay. If people are going to treat you different and, and be actually committed and loyal to you for being you, not for your money, Taurus energy, Pisces energy. And I feel that with the wheel of fortune here and the justice card, it might just pay off collective. We've got the king to the queen of wands here. You know what I think is happening here, collective? And, um, you know, it's, it's sad to say this, but I think you might be too much for a lot of people. Okay. Um, maybe some of you make a, a lot of money. Okay. It, it's, it's just intimidating. Maybe some of you have a really nice house. You have a really nice car and you've worked hard for everything that you have. Okay. Um, but it may be intimidating to some people. Okay. Not everybody needs to see or know how much you make or what you have. Um, and it's like, you know, you just look like, you know, to, if you have friends or family members and they know you make a lot of money, the way they're seeing it is shit, you know, the collective is rich. Let me go get some of that. Okay. If it's romantic collective, you know, you may find that people are intimidated by what you have and what you can accomplish. And I feel like when you lower yourself down a little bit, now you're seeing eye to eye with somebody. We've got the king to the queen of wands. We've got a soulmate energy here. We've got the wheel of fortune, which could be a soul tie. And then we've got the two of cups with the knight of pentacles. So collective, I do feel that, um, you know, you're toning yourself down a little bit here. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, I drive a nice car, but I could barely make the payments or yeah, I have a nice house, but I'm, I'm, I could barely make the payments. You know, it's like, you're, you're not telling people where you're at at life in life. Okay. Um, I feel like it does bother you a little bit with the four of cups and the six of wands, because you're very proud of what you've accomplished and you want to tell people about what you've accomplished, you know, which is only normal. Okay. Okay. But I feel like, um, you know, you just can't do that. You may feel that if you tell people who you really are, what you really are, how much you've accomplished in your life, how successful you are, that, you know, people are afraid to take that cup. Okay. People are afraid to take that because they're intimidated by it. You know, why would the collective want to be with me? Look at how much the collective makes. Look at everything the collective has. Now, 
you're going to say, well, Gina, I can't get rid of my house, my car and everything. Of course you can't, but you're coming across as like the damn cell in distress. Like, yeah, I mean, I have a nice car, but man, you know, I, I, I have a little bit of buyer's remorse because this payment is heavy. You know, I'm struggling. People can relate to that. People can relate to struggling, especially in this day and age when everything is so expensive, right? So they can relate to someone that complains and someone that's struggling. They can relate to that. If you're walking around like you don't have a problem in the world and this, this, and that, you know, some people can't relate to that. Okay. Um, so I do feel that it kind of sucks that you cannot like, you know, promote your success or be proud of yourself. But I feel that with the five of pentacles here, you claiming to be broke or you claiming to not have, or you claiming is what's going to bring you love. People are going to fall in love with you for you. It's going to bring you stability. Okay. It's going to bring you stability. Yeah. I feel like this is you saying, Oh, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my bills. You know, I, I just don't know here. Two of swords. This is you, you know, making that decision to not tell people that you are doing okay in life. I'm struggling. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to pay this bill. Meanwhile, you got money stacked. You got bands. You got money stacked. Okay. You have money stacked. Okay. Um, but you have to come across as someone who has less than you have to come across as someone that, you know, like this little kind of broken bird, damn cell in distress, because people can relate to that. People can relate to that. And collective, I, I think that what you're going through with this person here, okay, has taught you to be quiet, to be quiet. Okay to be quiet, at least until you know that someone here is committed to you at least. But I feel like you're going to be way happier and emotionally fulfilled when you find someone that makes decent money, but nowhere near what you make. Okay. You may find someone that makes good money and has a decent job. And what you're going to do is you're going to cry and say, Oh, I'm, I'm help. I, I'm in need. I'm stressed out. And you know, this person may even offer to pay your light bill. They may offer to pay for things and it may make you uncomfortable and it may make you feel bad. Cause you're like, I got plenty of money to pay my bills. I could pay my bills and I could pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You may, you may, you know, but spirit is saying to take it take it, play the broken bird, play the damn cell in distress. You know, I, I feel like I got to be honest with you. I feel like I'm giving you a little bit of toxic advice here by, by saying to lie, you know, but I, I feel like what's happening is if you want to find real love, you come across as very intimidating to people. And I feel like you're just taking hit after hit. You're getting, you know, used and taken advantage of by friends, by family members, by, um, uh, you know, by love interest, it's like people want to, they see you on this high horse and they want to humble you. Do you understand? They see you happy walking around at peace without a problem in the world. Your bills are paid. Meanwhile, you know, we live in a world where a lot of people are struggling. Okay. And, um, you know, you bringing yourself down <clears throat> and sharing the same worries that they have, you know, it'll actually make your person feel good and special that they're taking care of you and providing for you. Oh, I, you know, I help my girl pay her light bill. You know, I, I, I she needs me. I'm, 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 it makes them feel like a man or something like that. You know, um, you know, I hate to tell you to downgrade yourself to make other people happy, but I'm not really the one telling you to do that. I feel like this is a conclusion. Like this isn't really advice that I'm giving to you. This is the conclusion that you're coming to because you're just like uh, coming into this energy of, I don't want people to know what I have. I mean, it sucks because I love to, you know, uh, speak life into myself. I'm proud of what I've accomplished. I love to, you know, tell people what I've accomplished, um, or maybe even help people achieve the success that I've achieved. But I I've reached a point where I don't want people to know. I just don't want people to know. I feel like with the King of Cups here and the Queen of Swords, the Empress and Temperance here, one day, one day I will tell them that I'm an Empress. One day I'll tell them that, you know, I was a Queen of Wands 15 years ago, but today I sit in my throne as an Empress, right? But you're going to be patient. You're going to be patient. You're going to wait. 
and to tell people where you stand in life. Okay. And I feel like when you do tell these people, okay, um, you're going to say, listen, I, you know, I need you to not be upset, but I have to be honest with you about something. Um, I, you know, I, I, I just needed to make sure that you loved me for me before I told you, you know, what I make and everything like that. Okay. So, I, you know, some of you may not tell people at all at any point in time, others of you may, you know, eventually come out and tell, you know, once you feel safe enough that someone here loves you for you. Um, but I, I feel like that's where you're at, at least on a romantic level. And and even with friends, like if you meet a new friend, you're not going to tell this person that you make a shit ton of money or that you have a lot, you know, you're going to sit around, you're going to complain, you're going to relate to, you know, whatever this person is going through. Okay. But I do feel that the people that were using you, you're done. You're cutting them out of your life and whatever new thing is entering your life, you've learned your lesson with talking about your accomplishments, talking about your success, talking about how good you have it in life. You're done doing that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Take care my loves.